guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this watermelon look. I know it's crazy. I know probably not one of you would actually wear this, but unless it was Halloween or you're just doing it for fun. I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial. If you like random videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If there's any looks that you would like me to do or create down below, techniques or anything you would like me to film, please comment below. You can follow me on Instagram and interact with me there. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so that way you get notified every time I do upload a video. I have a few videos coming up this week. You'll see more once you get into this video, so I'm not gonna ramble anymore. <laughs> enjoy the video. Bye. All right, don't mind my bags. <laughs> I am filming this super late at night. It's 10 o'clock right now, and I'm going to be filming this for a while. So I just completely cleaned my face and put all my primers on. I really wanna do a creative look with her palette, so I'm going to do a bleached brow effect. I'm going to be using the KVD Brow Pomade, and this is actually in the shade Bleach. Okay, so now that I made most of my face disappear, <laughs> I'm going to go in with that green on the bold side of the palette. So I'm gonna take Garden State and I'm going to pack it in my, just above my crease area. Now I typically would buff this out in small circular motions with the exact same brush, but I'm gonna leave it packed on there. I'm gonna take another precision brush and I'm going to dip in to Camelot on the other side. And I'm actually gonna buff this green out with Camelot. I know this looks like a crazy step, but now that we've kind of muddied up the green, now I'm going to lay the green back over this concoction I made. So I'm just trying to use more of the true colors of what a watermelon would look like. Going back in with Camelot, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit higher. I just want it to be a little higher in this area. Taking that green again and buffing it over that yellow. All right, I'm now going to repeat this step over on this side. I'm gonna cut the crease and we're gonna come back and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I cut the crease really high because now I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise blank canvas. And I'm just gonna apply that on the back of my hand and I'm going to stamp out where I cleaned up and cut the crease. And then I'm gonna cut the crease again. So this is gonna be like that white lining on the watermelon. Had to take a break to take care of the babes. Hi, uh, mommy looks scary. <laughs> you say hi? You say hi? Say hi, babies. Hello. Okay, it's time to get them to go back to bed. 
All right, I know this looks like super sloppy, but we're gonna let it set because it sets in about 60 seconds and then I'm going to cut the crease again. So I'm gonna keep it a really thin line. All right, so before you come for me and you tell me what was the point of doing that thin line, if you were going to end up covering your whole lid with eye primer, now there are two different products. So the one that I put that's supposed to be like the white line for the watermelon is the P. Louise Acid Rain Collection, which it dries down matte, so I don't have to put a shadow over it. Whereas the next product I just put over my lid is actually an eye primer. So now I'm gonna go in with It Just Does. I'm just gonna take a packing brush and I'm going to pack it on just beneath where I put that line. Okay, so because there are two different products, you can see that where I placed the shadow is where it grabbed and the P. Louise blank canvas, because it was matte and dried down, it didn't take any of the color. So it just a quick stamp of the shadow and it's right where I need it to be. Now to make this a little bit more me, I'm gonna jump in. I think I'm just trying to use all the colors in the palette at least once. <laughs> I'm going to use the shade Side Effect. I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm just gonna dip into the color and I'm going to pack it on the outer corner and slowly buff it in just to change the hue of the coral. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I hope you can see the difference of the two colors. So by doing all these extra steps and adding different tones to it to kind of change the hue of the color, it's just giving us a more custom watermelon look versus it being green, white, and red. It just adds a little bit more depth to the look. To give this a really clean, crisp look, I'm going to take a tiny little detail brush. It looks like a tiny little paintbrush, if I can get that to even focus. I'm going to take the blank canvas again and I'm gonna run it across just to clean up and really sharpen up that line between the green and the red. Then I'm going to put a black wing liner on my lashes and I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'm going to come back and finish the under eye and do the detail work with you guys. Okay, I'm back. I put the Tati TL6 lashes on. Did the NYX matte winged liner across my eye. Obviously I finished my face. Now, before anybody asks about this highlighter, if you do, because I freaking love it. I did a review on this brand. It will be up this coming week, so don't forget to hit that bell notification so that way you get notified when I upload it. But I cannot wait for you guys to see it. So we have the top done. We are now going to do the underneath, and then we are going to do something fun to add to it, as if it's already not crazy enough. So I'm watching the viewfinder more through this video because my camera, for whatever reason, maybe it's because my brows are missing, it doesn't register my face and it's not focusing on me as much as it usually would. So I have to keep like moving around with it. And you guys know I talk with my hands, so I'm trying to keep it out of frame so that way it doesn't get blurry like my other videos. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in with Garden State and I'm going to pack it underneath the waterline because we're gonna finish off that watermelon effect. I don't know if you guys can see, you see how we made this one a nice green and this is, looks really blue next to this? I hope the camera's picking that up. Once I'm done packing this under my, I can't talk. So once I am done packing this on my under eye, I'm going to go back in with Camelot and do the same technique we did up here. I'm just gonna do it down here so that way we can get a matching green. Be 
Before I forget to mention, because I have a feeling someone might ask why I'm using Camelot and not the yellow in the bright section, Camelot in the palette is actually like a really deep mustard shade and so that means there's like a lot of gold. It's almost like, like an undertone of brown is in the yellow, whereas the other side it's a really bright yellow. I don't want my green to be neon. I want it to be more subdued in color. So that way it looks more like how an actual watermelon would look. All right, I went ahead and did my lips. They're a little janky, so I might need to fix those. <laughs> but I finished off the other eye. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC Green Mascara. It actually is very close in color with the Garden State shade of green. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my lower lash line. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're gonna do the fun part. <laughs> this was all the hard work, so now we're just gonna top it off and just put the icing on the cake, basically. I have these teeny tiny little nail gems that you can get off Amazon. I'm going to use the black ones and I'm going to glue them to the top of my lid to act as our watermelon seeds. Mm -hmm. 